everybody what's going on uh, <laughs> I hope this video finds you guys doing well let me uh, find a hat to put on so cover up my messed up hair I've uh, uh, seemed to be going through uh, a few trials uh, lately so anyway uh, so so I booked this load uh, what was it Tuesday so I wouldn't have to deal with uh, the load board anymore and uh, then yesterday I called up on it and we're having all kinds of mix-ups and made about six phone calls it took about two hours making phone calls back and forth they guarantee me everything was set up and ready to go I took off last night just before dark and my uh, lights on the headache rack didn't want to work so I spent about an hour working on that and then I got over to Paducah and uh, stopped to get some water or something <laughs> and uh, I noticed that I had a fuel leak under the truck and tried to get it stopped and got soaked in diesel and was able to put a clamp around it to pinch it off a little bit and got over to Sykeston where a freight, uh, freight liner was and spent the night there. Well actually when I got to uh, uh, Sykeston uh, the AP unit didn't want to start and my fuel line a return fuel line going back to the tank was pouring out fuel out on the ground so I didn't want to leave the truck running it was 30 degrees and the AP unit, this unit decided it didn't want to start so <laughs> anyway so I thought about it for a minute and uh went out there and uh, if you guys remember uh, the uh, baffle is broke loose in the tank and was doing all that damage so anywho so I pulled the fuel lines that go to the AP unit out of the tank and sure enough they were bent up and the rubber hose that I had put on it was gone and so I put it all back together or straightened it all out put it all back together and uh, it still didn't want to start and then it dawned on me that I had that rubber hose on there and that rubber hose went down and laid on the tank so I didn't even think about it when I put it on there but if it's going to be on the bottom of the tank that's where all the water goes so that's why the AP unit didn't want to start because the filter was filled up with water so so anyhow, uh, so I crawled back up under the truck and uh, took that clamp off and wrapped some rubber around it and then clamped it again and got that down to a slow drip and, uh, <clears throat> and ran the motor for a while. And while I was running the motor, I kept uh, working the AP and it. it finally got started and uh, after about an hour and uh, got it going and once I got that going then I shut down the truck about that time it was midnight and uh, uh, I couldn't sleep where to darn I woke up about four o'clock this morning and uh, sitting there waiting for the Freightliner to open up to get my parts and uh, Freightliner opened up and uh, I asked the guy if he had the hose or and he said that he assured me that he did and so uh, so I went out there and took it off and brought it inside and it had they didn't have the one with that kind of fittings so uh, so I had bought some other stuff too and uh, he said that uh, uh, Cummins would open up at 8 o'clock and so I said, well, let me pay for this stuff, and I'll go put it on the truck while you're, we're waiting, killing time. So uh, I got my stuff put on, and then I went across the street to uh, the AP uh, place, uh, AP unit place, and they didn't have my filters <laughs> for the AP unit. And so, anywho, so... Um, 
Uh, so uh, I didn't get anything done with that. And uh, then uh, it was eight o'clock and I walked in the door. It's actually 8.30 by the time I got back. And uh, walked in there and he said, well, he said, you know, the F word. I uh, couldn't get, they didn't have it, blah, 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 so. So, um, so I said, well, let me go look at my truck and see what kind of fittings I got. So I went out there and I went through everything I had. Uh, I had fittings, but they weren't the correct ones for that setup. So I went back inside and he said, oh, I got an idea. So he ran upstairs and uh, brought down an airline instead of a fuel line and it had the same fittings and so I opted to get that and put that on there and um, and then um, uh, that was about nine o'clock and uh, so this morning had 117 miles to get up to Peebly so I came on up to Peebly I stopped uh, down the road and got $500 of fuel $526 of fuel and uh, I got to uh, Peebly, and uh, mind you, I had made like six phone calls making sure and they guaranteed me that this load was good and everything. So I got up here, and uh, uh, they have a phone number here, and I called in, and they said, well, we don't have that number. So I called them back, the broker back, and told them, I said, that number's no good. Oh, well, let me call my blah, blah, blah. And he called me back. I got bad news. Our customer canceled that load. And so I'm trying to be calm about it. And uh, I said, so I booked this load on Tuesday. And uh, yesterday I called in the numbers and they, they weren't no good. And uh, you guys checked it all out and assured me that it was good, blah, blah, this. Uh, you guaranteed that it was good, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, it was good, blah, 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 blah. And so I did head it up here 200 miles just to find out that that number was no good after you guys guaranteed me it was no good. I said, well, you know what? I don't want to be ugly about it or nothing, but if I could reach through this phone, I'd punch you right in the eye. I said, but I can't, so I guess. Uh, and then uh, I said, what's a show up? Uh, show up, truck not you showed up pay uh, 150 I said well so you're $50 less than everybody else well I'm sorry that's what I pay and so anyway it is Friday and I'm on the load board now and uh, I don't see anything uh, there was a load earlier that I called on it was at the same place here and I called on it, it was going to Tampa, and uh, they wanted to move it for $2,000 less. And so I told them about, uh, you know, I haul out of here all the time and blah, 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 and I'm actually sitting here. And so they lifted it up to where it was only a couple hundred dollars difference from the one that I was going to get. And uh, they called up on it and called me back and said, well, they canceled that load. So, uh, so anywho, so that's where I'm at, and, uh, <laughs> so that's my update for the day. I'm, st I'm still sitting here at down. I'm looking at the load board. I'll look at it for a while, uh, we'll try to look at stuff that's within reach, and, um, uh, if I can find something, I find something. If I don't, I don't. Um, what? Well, can a man do you know so so that's my update for Friday I hope you guys this Friday is doing much better and I hope you have a great weekend and to have a wonderful holiday week I hope the blessings come your way in Jesus name that's right I was gonna say in Jesus name I pray but I wasn't praying <laughs> I was hoping so I hope you guys are having a great time and I hope this video finds you doing well. And I hope you're having a better day than I am. And I know there's plenty of people in the world that are having a worse day than I am. So I'm not going to complain about it. Things could be a whole lot worse. They really could. And, uh, and they're not. So I'm thankful. So you guys have a good one. God bless. 
and later.